Hi, welcome to the demonstration of the editor that I built for the Pulse 2 synthesizer by Waldorf Music. It comes as a standalone version for both Windows and Mac as well as a Max for Live device for the use in Ableton Live. Let's look at the standalone version first. Before you begin, select the correct MIDI ports in the editor and make sure you set TX parameter to CC plus SIS, which you can do by clicking Shift Global on the hardware. So once you're all set up, it's ready for use. All the parameters can either be controlled on the editor or on the hardware. It's a bi-directional communication, so it goes both ways. You can control all the parameters on the editor, like this. you can also use the knobs on the hardware itself and the editor will be updated in real time. Let's look at the mutate function for a bit. This allows you to take the current value of the synthesizer and randomize those by a certain percentage. There is also an option to randomize your patch by 100%, where you can choose to randomize everything or just certain sections of the synth, like oscillator, filter, modulators, envelopes, LFOs, etc. So let's randomize the filter by 100%. And note that when you switch presets on the hardware, the editor will update automatically, including the patch name. Now let's look at the Max for Live device. Drag it onto a MIDI channel in Ableton Live and make sure you set MIDI 2 to Pulse 2 and then open the router. So about the router, um, without the use of system exclusive data, bidirectional control of the Pulse 2 is quite limited and Ableton Live filters out SysX from MIDI data, so that's a challenge. And Max for Life can work with SysX quite well, but since Max for Life is limited to the use of the MIDI in and out of Ableton Live, I had to create a workaround, and this is where the router comes in. It's a small standalone application that communicates over the UDP protocol with the editor, so SysX from the editor will be going to the router and the router passes it on to the right MIDI port, and vice versa of course. SysX coming from the synth will go through the router to the editor where it is decoded. And of course you can also 
um, use this as a MIDI effect rack. Uh, you can do that by pressing Command G on a Mac or Control G if you're on a PC. And then you can map your macro knobs to all the parameters of the editor. buy this editor at filthyfilters.com so head over there and press the buy now button all future updates will be free um, thanks for watching <laughs>